on Itoki UK TV in association with SNP Europe. It's game day two for Great Britain and they're up against Poland. Both sides got wins on opening day, a 4-0 win for GB over Korea and they were up and running in the tournament. A very special day for one player in particular today, Robert Lakovic with his 75th cap. What a special achievement and congratulations to him. So, what was in store? 5,000 plus crowd, a great crowd in the Motorpoint Arena. And this is what happened. Pash plays it back to the point. Back to Pash. Turning away. Costa calling for it. Good movement. Pash goes to the front of the goal. The pass doesn't get out. Rua. Good defensive line there from the Belfast Giants. Stark rugged defenseman Sam Ruop, former Columbus Blue Jackets draft pick. Lelega gives it away to Lakovic. This is the 75th cap for Lakovic, and it's a top shelf! It's Jonathan Phillips! The captain roofs it on the redirect. Jonathan Phillips on the board, 1-0 GB. Well, I was talking about how important the fourth line was going to be in this game. Lakovic makes a nice pass. Jonathan Phillips uses his speed through the middle of the ice and just de deflects it into the top of the net, redirection into the top of the net. Murray looks behind. He never sees it. It's just a great finish and a great play. Good puck moving through the neutral zone. When you come out of the team with speed, it makes it tougher, backs him in. Jonathan Phillips certainly has that. Puts the defense under pressure. Nice little redirection into the top of the net. Hammond trying to get it out front. It's off the body of Chura. And Lake will backtrack. Yeah, I can see GB going for a quick change there. Here's a quick pass up to Hammond, Murph. Hammond. Madronia tracked him down. Here's Perlini. Perlini. Mosey. Long range shot. I'm not sure Murray saw it. It was up and over his right shoulder. And as Mosey was trying to pick a top corner, Vallega running interference on his own blue line. Here's Zygmunt. Zygmunt up the right side. Pash takes a bump as O'Connor stepped up. Mosey. O'Connor loses an edge, and it will be Dominic Pash in the corner against Betteridge, but it will be Perlini sending it up and down. Kostek passes it along for Zygmunt. Zygmunt in for Pash, Pash scores! What a shot from Dominic Pash, his first of the tournament, 1-1 hockey game. I was just saying, you can see how Poland are much quicker on the forecheck and getting on, on top of the puck. But in this occasion, Pass just flies through the middle, gets that pass, and picks the top corner on bounds. It's a great finish. Puck just using the board, simple play. Pass comes up, Pass gets the re return pass, and it's in the net. Zygmunt makes a nice play here. Across to Pass, into the top corner. That's a great shot under the bar. Bounds is probably, could have maybe uh, come out a little bit more there, but I think he was worried about an, a quick pass to, to the right. Pass might have given the puck to the right, but uh, Pash picks the top corner. Albert, be more worried that he tumbled into the boards awkwardly as well, but he appears to be okay. Neil Jack! What a rocket of a shot! Looked like a broken play, but Nielsen says, thank you very much, 2-1 GB. Well, Nielsen's very good at finding those open areas in front of the net, that mid-slot to lower slot area. And again, he just fires a quick one to the net, into the back net. Halbert was able to keep the puck in. Kirk had the puck along the wall. We'll have a good look at it here. Just Kirk just spins it across. That's just a great play from Kirk. We're always talking about how he spins, turns quickly, the edge work, like you were saying, Burr. He spots. Nielsen makes that quick pass across. Dowd on the left wing. Dowd away from Kruzcek. Plays it back to Liam Kirk. Goal and two assists in the tournament so far for number 14 in blue. Here's Kirk. We know that if he gets on a roll, it'll be lethal to the opposition. Dowd, back to Kirk. Kirk trying to draw some coverage. Goes back to Halbert. Halbert's shot is blocked by Pashu as he got a right skate across into the shooting lane. Kept in, though, Cade Nielsen. Nielsen against Kruzcek. Out front, they score! Liam Kirk, power play goal. Great Britain, 3-1 hockey game. What a shot from Kirk, taking advantage of the five-minute power play. 
And what happens here is Murray sees Dow going to the net. Good job down low from Nielsen, just as battles his man on that battle, one-on-one -on -one battle. And Kirk from a bad angle just stuffs it between the legs of Murray. But Murray's looking in the corner of his eye and he sees Dowd coming down who's wide open, so he's not sure how aggressive he can play that. Because you can see Dowd is wide open for a quick pass there. Kirk decides to go at it alone, fires it between Murray, Murray's legs. Kirk's got such a quick wrist shot, gets to the net quickly, and he buries it 3-1 GB, Mur. Four on four will end as Vronka was serving the penalty, the major penalty to Dominic Pash, who's been thrown out of the game for the boarding major. Here's Vallega. Vallega with a shot, pad save, and Vallega off the post. It's scrambling around in there. Poland still trying to chop at it. Vallega was stopped by bounds. Vallega stayed with it, and Poland is saying that was back bar and out. They want it looked at. Well, it might be worth looking at it, because it was close. I mean, Vallega, what a burst of speed from him, and what he did well is got to the blue, and he faked he was going to move the puck, so he froze everybody and kept going. Got the shot to the net, went hard to the net. Puck was up in the air. Let's have a good look at it. Watch this burst of speed from Vallega. Gets to the blue line, gets the shot, and drives to the net looking for the rebound. Gets a stick on it, hits bounds, hits the post. That doesn't look like it hits anything other than the post there. Bounces right back, bounces it, grabs it onto it. He's still fighting, trying to grab onto it. Everyone's scrambling. There's Vallega. Vallega taking on Jonathan Phillips, curls back. Yashkevich. She gave it on the backhand. Back to was Charchuk. Was Charchuk denied by bounds? Sigmund goes to the front of the goal. Here's was Charchuk again. Back door for Vallega. Vallega had to outreach Jonathan Phillips. Vallega again probing down that right side. He'll come back to Yashkevich. Vallega down low. Back to Vallega. And out front. Sigmund scores. Power play goal. Poland. It's Pavel Sigmund. 3-2 hockey game. You... you can kind of see that coming. They were moving the puck around really well, Murph. And Zygmunt just stayed in there in front of that and kind of wait. Eventually the puck lands on his stick. They go down, they come off the wall with speed. Down low, quick pass out. Good active stick there from, from GB, but they just push it out in front of their own net and Zygmunt just eventually finishes this off here. A couple of shots went through everybody, and just right there, Zygmunt gets the backhand up and over. That's a really nice finish because he's got some pressure on his, you know, from everybody around him. He's able to finish the playoff. Mosey, too far for Hammond. Chura played it off the skate of Vallega. Chura stays with it. Zygmunt back for Chura, joining the rush from his defensive position. Threw it across the goal mouth, it's Vallega! Vallega ties the game, 3-3, three, three. what a finish from Vallega! Well, we can see it coming a little bit with Vallega, he's been having a really good performance in this one. Zygmunt and him have really clicked in this third period, they've been making things happen for Poland. And right there, Vallega just gets that rebound, comes out right onto his stick, and he buries it. Good job from the, from the Polish team, just going to the net, making things happen. You think about the Kirk off the post chance, we could have put the game away. They don't get the bounce on that one, GB, Poland come back. A couple of shifts later and tie the game up. Vallega to Jorski. Zygmunt, well, Zygmunt looked like he was offside, a big rebound, Jorski threw it through the goal mouth. They had a wide open net, it actually looked like it was offside and Jorski can't believe it. Wide open goal and it's out through the blue paint, here's Vida. Dangerous moments now for Great Britain. Vranka, Vranka coming forward. Pass too far for Vida, but he will retrieve it and send it on for Vranka. Backhands it on, a shot off the left, shoulder of bounds. Fratsko, Fratsko. Well, they're all over Great Britain right now. Pashu had that high shot. There's a penalty coming up against Poland. And you see there, Dow drops it and says, touch it, we want the power play. Richardson, not good news, joining Laura Joe Bowler and Nikki Sherlock down the tunnel. Lake, Perlini, below the goal line. He's it back to Hammond. Hammond to the bottom of the circle. Mosey, O'Connor. O'Connor fakes the shot. Lake goes to the bumper position. Back to O'Connor. O'Connor to Hammond. 
Back to Mosey. Mosey to O'Connor. O'Connor with the shot. Big rebound. And Perlini couldn't get to it. Dronia played it into the corner. But now O'Connor will take over. Less than two minutes remaining in regulation. 3-3 hockey game on via play extra. Perlini to Mosey to O'Connor. GB with a, a prime opportunity here on the man advantage. O'Connor with the shot. That's blocked by Starzinski. And he pops right back up. Excellent block by Starzinski. But O'Connor maintains control. Hammond now to Mosey. Mosey to Hammond, Hammond with the shots, it's in, it's in, it's in, Hammond rips it, power play goal, Great Britain, they've got the lead back in a moment of magic, second power play goal of the game, what a shift from Hammond and company, as the crowd likes that one, let's have a look back, I mean Hammond, Pulling all the strings. Mosey, Hammond's shot. That looked like it was in. Now Perlini reaches in, and it's a 4-3 hockey game. Well, the first shot doesn't go in from Hammond. Perlini gets the rebound and, and bangs, it, bangs it into the back of the net. Right there, comes out, hits the post, one post and the other. And right there, Perlini hangs in there, although he's being checked by Dronia. They were down 3-1 pole and they came roaring back here. And with a minute remaining, you know there's another twist or two in the tail because gone to the, the bench is Murray for the extra attacker. Six on five situation. Kolus, Kolus with a shot, it bounces in! Fratsko is in front. Kolus with the shot, it's up and over. Bounds, 4-4 four, four hockey game with 47 seconds remaining. Poland did a great job getting their goalie out at the right time. And puck goes that back to the point, the shot comes in, it seems to take a funny deflection up, it hits Bounds and goes up and over him. As Frash goes in front of the net, making it difficult for Bounds. Bounds gets it off his arm, and it just goes up behind Bounds into the back of the net. I don't think Frashko touched that one at all, to be honest with you. Maybe he got a little tip in the end, but uh, a big goal for Poland. Nielsen, back for Hammond. Hammond to Nathaniel Halbert. Halbert with the shot, big rebound. Halbert challenging Murray. Murray's gonna pull down Nathaniel Halbert. Power play coming up for Great Britain. Yeah, Halbert just went to the net after he's done this a few times in the game where he shoots the puck, goes to the net. He's always driving to the net for a defenseman. And as he's going down, as he's going by the net, there is a trip. Halbert right there gets the shot and he goes to the net. He doesn't turn away. And right there, Murray trips him. Murray's trying to clear the puck, but he probably, the referee felt he left his stick in there too long. Lake versus Pashu. Lake tries to tie up, but Pashu did a good job. Cruz check will just hammer it up and down. So 2.35 remaining in the overtime. A minute 45 will be spent on the power play for Great Britain. It's Murray for tripping served by Vranka. Here's Kirk. Kirk to Halbert. Halbert out front. He's going. Lake! Lake ends it in overtime. Great Britain. Power play goal to get the extra point. Take a bow, Ben Lake. Again, Big just goes to the net, drives to the net. Kirk makes nice, a nice little pass to Halbert, who's been active all game, moving up the ice, and Lake just buries it. That's a great pass from Halbert. A great finish from Lake. Has a habit of scoring big goals, Lake. Gets the puck up, Murray's got no chance. Once he gets it up high enough here, gets it up and over the glove of Murray. Good play off the wall also from Kirk to get that puck through to Halbert, who activates up the ice. And you always kind of figured it was either going to be Kirk or Halber on a finish. But Lake steps up and buries it. Ben, congratulations. They made it hard for you tonight, though, didn't they, Poland? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we knew after last night's game, uh, coming into this afternoon, it was going to be a really tough game. Uh, they got a good team over there, a lot of skill. Um, they work hard, they track back hard. Um, and yeah, they. Uh, in the first period, I, I don't think we were ready to go. Um, we were lucky to get out of that 1-1, and then I think we took over the game in the second period, and then um, 
unfortunately in the last 10 there we gave up two goals um, to tie it and then yeah they credit to them they uh, they never gave up tonight and uh, yeah lucky we were able to get one in overtime to get the win there you're a resilient and close group is that important in times like you face there at the end yeah of course um, giving up that goal in the last minute it's uh, it's easy for everyone to kind of hang their heads and going into overtime there but um, everyone kind of pulled their socks up there and, and, and got back to work. Um, so yeah, it was it was good to, good to get the win there. You got another great support here, big crowd, loud noise. How, how much does that help? Yeah, it was uh, it was amazing tonight. Um, they were uh, they were so loud all night. They're still tonight. going. Yeah, yeah, they're still <laughs> going. They're still going. Um, no, it was amazing. Um, unreal crowd. Even even the prior game, they were they were all here chanting. Um, so yeah, it's great to see. Um, great to see all the fan support and uh, G GB ice hockey. What's key for you now? You got a day off. I know you'll practice, but 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 how much is kind of rest key now for you? Yeah, it's huge. Um, five games, five games in seven days is not easy. Um, I don't care who you are. So yeah, obviously getting that rest, taking taking care of the bodies, eating the right things, drinking lots of water. It's uh, it's very key to uh, to this tournament going forward. Josh, if it's start with the, the end of the game, getting back up for overtime after being pulled back so late, how important was it for JB to regroup for that overtime? Yeah, it was huge for us. Obviously, uh, we dealt with some adversity towards the end there, but um, you know, I think that shows the character in our room and the, the group we've got to, uh, to you know, deal with those situations and, and end up uh, getting the win. It was uh, it was huge for us and a, a big win. Obviously, Poland's a good side and we knew that coming into it, so a win tonight was uh, huge. And uh, on getting the power play in, in overtime, that. Looked like a set play from the face-off. Kirk and Nathaniel Herbert and uh, Ryan with a big finish. Yeah, obviously we got so many skilled guys that can, can make plays. So to uh, to get that power play, I think you know we could uh, feel something uh, positive was going to come from it. Um, so them to uh, link up and and score that goal was uh, massive. You touched on it earlier on. The, we knew the challenge of Poland was going to be different from from Korea. Um, they're a bigger, more physical team. How how was it as a as a kind of contest out there? Yeah, it was great. It was great. Uh, you know, they're skilled also. They skate well. They're big. They're physical. So, like I said, you know, coming to this, we uh, we knew it was going to be a, a tough challenge for us. And uh, we knew it was a, a big win in, in this tournament. Um, so, like I said, to come out on top uh, was great. And, and playing in front of another big crowd here in Nottingham, home ice is always uh, hopefully an advantage and a huge crowd, a, a loud crowd, and the game kind of helped them get into the game there. Definitely. Uh, the crowd here has been awesome, obviously, uh, since we've been here the game before also. And... Uh, you know, they get behind us when uh, we need it and it's loud and you know we can feel the uh, you know the positive positive energy in the building um, it helps us out a lot obviously towards the end there when you know we need a goal to win the game they get behind us and uh, you score so can't ask for much more than that and finally it's a rest day on Monday back to action on, on Tuesday kind of re kind of take the two wins regroup on, on training and then and go again on Tuesday in the game action yeah definitely I think tomorrow you know we it's a lot of a lot of games in a short amount of days so you know recovery days are big um, you know get get the uh, food drink whatever and 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 the rest we need to, uh, for Tuesday um, you know another another challenge another two games in a row that you know we need to win really need to win all of them so I think uh, that rest day is big for us to uh, regroup and uh, get ready